Thank God for you, my friend, if that weren't too on the nose. I felt for sure that this time it was my turn to depart our world. Itaba's cultists surrounded Lani and I a while back. We split up and I led a distraction so she could make best her escape. Funny, I really should have considered my own plan for evasion once I'd allowed her hers. In any case, it is good to see you again, Exile. Let us talk more in a safer space. I shall meet you back at the docks. Good to see you made it back. You look at me with suspicious eyes. Yes, I know you have your apprehensions about me and my new indwelling spirit. But if it helps a little, I feel innocence stirring inside me, awakening with an odd sense of gratitude towards you. It was, after all, your bite that returned him to humility allowed the scales to drop from his eyes. If you are to go wandering the city in its current state, be careful where you step. Kitava's cultists are constantly on the prowl, actively seeking food for their god. What's worse, the passage to Kitava's feast is blocked off by two large black gates. We call them Kitava's horns, and they are utterly impenetrable to the motions of man. There is but one way in which we can reach Kitava and deprive him of his eternal meal. The Staff of Averius lies somewhere amongst the rubble of the Chamber of Innocence, still billowing with holy power. If you were to find it and return it to me, I believe the power in the Staff will act as power enough to break through the Horned Gates.